Hello everybody, welcome back to Minecraft on the Block. This is the FTB Craft server tutorial series on how to get started and how to play on a FTB Craft server or FTB server in general and, and specifically FTB Craft. You can come play with us here if you want. Um, the IP will be in the description. It's completely open, free to play. And you can set up a town and whatever. It's just awesome. So check it out. We are learning how to survive, though. There are some challenges on these servers. There's limited resources. There's just some different stuff going on. So um, we are doing things a little bit differently here than we would on the uh, like crafter server, for instance. So anyway, a couple of things since last episode. Um, got an MFE, and I put up a second um, solar panel out there. This is, is really, really good. So don't forget that if you get an MFE, I'll show you. You have to have a low-voltage transformer. Um, that will take this, which outputs medium, 128, and a low voltage transformer will take 128 and turn it into 32, which is what these machines can handle max. So I'm getting a lot of stone and stuff. We've been uh, we've been really working on getting the basement intact or in all in order. So I'll show you what we're doing there. I need some glass too, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that. And might as well get that thing going. Continue making sand. So yeah, this is really nice. Um, I actually blew up my bat box because I accidentally. I, I it looks a lot like a low voltage transformer, and I hooked it up to this, and it blew up. So <laughs> you don't want to do that. But anyway, um, make sure that yeah, that you don't hook this directly up to your machines. Don't just replace your bat box with this. You have to add the low voltage transformer, which is sitting right in the corner down there, and I'll show you that. Uh, what else? Yeah, so I started making the Coke oven, and it's actually really late, so um, this is going to be a short episode, but I wanted to show you guys a couple of things. I'm actually thinking, I'm trying to figure out, I'm going to leave this here, I think, because I'm going to put the Coke oven right below it. A Coke oven can touch other bricks as long as they are not Coke bricks. Um, a blast furnace cannot. A blast furnace has to stand alone, so I'm trying to figure out if I'll be able to place it, or how I'm going to place it, or what, I'm not sure. Anyway, we might have to reconfigure things, but the, let's see, that right there is the low voltage transformer, and it's got a red output, the red out, the, yeah, the red side, well, at least in this texture pack, but the unique side um, has to be the output, and the other sides are the input, so you want to make sure that that is, you don't want it to go the other way, because it will output high voltage and blow things up. So it will, it will take in 128, well, it's okay, you don't have to worry about it here, if it was like a, if it was like a bat box, and you were putting the 32 into it, and then it was outputting 128, then it would blow up your machines. So anyway, you got to be very careful. What I really suggest is a lot of times taking all the wires out until you know you've got it in the right position and then put it back, um, just so you don't blow anything up. But let's go ahead and get this going. I'm actually going to record just this little section, and then I'm going to go to bed, and <laughs> I'm going to do some more stuff tomorrow. But So you can see I, I got this all. I hope I went far enough down now that I think about it. To put that other one down, we're going to have to go... One, two, three, four. Yep, just like that. So that will be enough because that is a whole block above there. So yeah, that'll be good. So let's go ahead and do this. I think I have enough left. So you do a, a three by three, is that right? No, it's not. It's not correct at all. There we go. Three by three, and then you want to do a another three by three but you want to leave the middle open and then you're going to do one more where you're going to close the top in and if we did this right and if we have enough bricks three yep when i place this last one it should turn into a coke oven there we go so now you get this interface and all you do is you throw coal in here this will fill up with creosote oil which you definitely want um if you're going to use railcraft, because this is obviously, this is a railcraft device, and it will turn this into coal coke, one to one, or uh, coke coal. And that's what we want to use in the blast furnace. Yeah, I really, I like this texture pack looks cool with this, and the blast furnace looks really cool too. Um, so yeah, anyway, if you, if we do this correctly, we will get, um, we'll get the coal coke, and then we will get a one to one with the blast furnace, um, to steel, which is really cool. So I'm trying to figure out how I can get this blast furnace in here and how to make it look good. I think maybe on the top it can touch something, or maybe on maybe on one side. I'm not sure. I'll have to figure that out. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put it, but I wanted to show you this because I really just needed to get some of this going. This takes a long time. This process is slow. Um, 
you know, you can kind of see how long it's going to take. So you don't get a lot out of it, but you would normally have to put four coal in a, in a blast furnace to, to get one piece of uh, steel out of a piece of iron. So this is going to help a lot. You can also see that our uh, diamond pickaxe is getting low and I'm not going to actually, I'm not going to replenish it um, because the next thing we're going to do is build a diamond drill once we have our steel and we'll be moving up. Um, we'll get this, which is a normal drill. You just put steel around it. This is just a uh, electronic circuit and a battery and some steel and that will give you the mining drill and then you just put three diamonds around it. Now we're going to want to get a bat pack and go straight probably to a lap pack. So bat pack is this and easy to make it only holds 60,000 EU though and that drill will go through it pretty quickly so we're going to want to get to a not a lithium pack it's called a lap pack let's see this one right here holds 300,000 and it's just some lapis blocks an advanced circuit and a bat pack so this isn't that hard to make these have to be made in a compressor you put nine lapis in a compressor and you get a lapis block you can't just craft it like you used to anyway so that's what we're working towards with the steel once we get steel we can get um, a couple other things the other thing you want to get pretty quickly is a rock cutter if you get a rock cutter this is basically silk touch three so you can silk touch your diamond ores and then you can bring them back and macerate them so you'll get um, two diamonds instead of one so basically turns your well, it gives you the the ability to get a guaranteed fortune of two diamonds per ore, which is nice. So anyway, this is going to take a while. The steel takes equally as long, if not longer. So I'm going to get that oven set up pretty quickly as well. Um, but I'll probably do that tomorrow. But I wanted to get this one going tonight, so I just wanted to show you guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave this like this or make some adjustments to it. It's I, I could take it out. We'll see. But I like kind of like how this looks. I might turn these into some other type of brick. And I'm definitely going to do this, except that for some reason when I'm down here, it doesn't work. If I go like this, it works fine. So if I go up here and say, let's see, I'm going to put one there. It's just a weird thing with the, can I put one over there? Yep. And put one over there. Actually, yeah, I'm going to put them all around it. It'll look better from the top anyway. And... Yeah, what else are we going to do? Having that second solar panel is awesome. If we need to go to a third, um, it'll be relatively easy to do. You guys saw, I mean, it takes a lot of crafting, but it'll be relatively easy to do. And if we have to do that, um, another ADU per tick, I mean, we can just keep kind of upping those, and I think we might continue to be good. We'll have to go to an MFSU. There we go. There's one cold coke and a little bit of creosote oil. Um, we might have to go to an MFSU, which holds 10 million power, and that way we can just have stuff running and getting us power all the time. And even if we can't keep up with it on the times where we have high demand, we'll have a lot of it stored. So we'll probably do that before too long. And especially if we're going to be charging the lap packs and stuff and constantly carrying those around, we'll probably even go to a, a higher level one. But all of our stuff, like our drill, um, will run off of the, bat, the lap pack or the bat pack as long as we have it on. Something we really need to get is a uh, jet pack, which I can't believe I haven't even messed with yet. The electric jet pack is the only way to fly, and we could make that today, so I should probably get on that. <laughs> That's something that maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that today. We'll go ahead and make a jet pack. So anyway, now our uh, this looks a little nicer. We've got it cleaner in here. Um, so I think we can I think we can start to move forward. Oh, I didn't. I missed one. There we go. So yeah, looks good. Um, let me uh, let me get the blast furnace set and get some sleep, and then we'll start doing all that stuff I just talked about. All right, guys, it's morning, and this thing actually morning my time, so I slept. Although not very much, it was pretty late, and the kids got me up early. So <laughs> this thing apparently works while you're offline because it went through all of this. It um, it will probably fill this up with this. Uh, what I usually do is is put a tank, um, just a regular old, what is it, probably a build craft tank, um, just glass. I put one of those usually next to it, and I'll just bucket stuff out into it. You could pump it out probably too, but I just do that usually. Anyway, so it got us 49 cold coke, which is good. And I figured out last night before I went to bed that this is the layout that I want for uh, the blast furnace. It will fit here perfectly. It will go up one higher. It'll touch on the corner, but I think that's okay and should be good um wow a lot of people on 
it was like 25 or 30 maybe when I got on. Anyway, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and put this thing down. I wanted to show you this. Um, the other thing I want to make is some automation. I want to get the automation for our... Uh, for our like smelting operation and all that going because it's just time. Okay, so this one is exactly like that except that you do two layers of hollow like that and then we'll do one more. A second hollow layer. You don't have to put anything in there. And then a another solid layer on top and let me place this. There we go. If we get it right, we get the interface. Well, we get the interface to the interface. <laughs> like so. And I need to go get some iron and get some steel going. So that's cool. We got our blast furnace and our coke oven down here. Which is very nice. Very, very nice indeed. And <clears throat> we'll throw a stack of iron. I wish I had a stack of iron. I don't think I even do. It's time to go mining, I think, actually. So we should probably try to get our, our mining drill. And while we're doing let's do this. Do I have... Okay, so that one. Did that work while I was gone? Those might have worked while I was gone, too, actually. It's weird. I don't... Something... I just don't... I don't... I haven't figured out what does and doesn't and when and why and how and whatever. But what I do know is that I'm going to need... Let's see. What do I need for that thing? Diamond drill, drill, some battery, and a circuit. Yeah, we'll be good. We can use all of this. So we're just going to go ahead and put this in. Put that in. And that will take a while. You can see that it's slow process. Slow process. I don't... Yeah, this is really slow. I put that stack in. We're halfway through one piece of coal. But this, yeah, really slow. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. All right. So let me get some steel and then I'll be back. All right guys, while we're waiting on the steel, there's a couple of things we can do and hopefully this will, this will, uh, we'll have the resources for it. So we definitely, if we're going to do this, uh, if we're going to do this thing, we're going to need a lap pack and that means we're going to need a bat pack first. So the first thing we need is a bat pack. So that's six batteries, some tin and an electronic circuit. We'll see if we have enough for that because this is basically maxed out, so I need to get some stuff going. We have a lot of tin ore. I went and consolidated all my ores from over, over uh, down there, all those others, those other, whatever, chests. <laughs> so I've got some tin ore, that's good. So that's gonna give us a lot of tin. So if we have enough tin currently, then, you know, we got a fair amount of copper and stuff. So that's good. Get rid of a lot of this stuff that we don't need. I, I need to consolidate these chests, but we'll get a sorting system going before too long. So, um, 10. We have some 10. We have some copper. Got some of these. Let's just take that. Some silver dust lead. Okay, let's, uh, let's see if we can get... Six of these. Yep, and we're gonna have barely an oh, dang it, that's some redstone. And I need six pieces of copper cable, which I don't think I have. I have three. How's this coming? Good. Good. Finally, using some of that power. We're gonna update that to an MFSU soon, I think. Um, okay, so we need, we're going to need at least two sets of these because we're going to need six here. Sometimes I know it's not fun to watch me craft this stuff, but I think sometimes it's helpful to remind you if you guys see it enough, maybe you'll, because right now I have to look at recipes so much that it's kind of a pain. And so I need one of those circuits. I believe I remember how to make that. We need some refined iron, which maybe we're completely out of refined iron. Is that possible? Doesn't seem likely, but I guess, I guess, no, there it is right there. Whew. 
Got a lot of it. So we need one of these, which is like this, which is why we needed the extra pieces. Now we need that, 10, and that. So that gets us a bat pack. Now, to make the lap pack, we need the lapis blocks, which I think we have enough for. Let's see. Yeah, I need a lot. Let's go ahead and see how much lapis we have. We may not have enough lapis. Let's see how many blocks that gets us and see if we have some more. I think we do have a little bit more. We'll go check on the uh, steel here in a second. Yeah, we got some more lapis. Twenty-seven, we need fifty-something, so... What do we need? Fifty-four? To get six blocks? Is that right? Nine times, nine times six is fifty-four? Is that even close to right? That's what my mind is telling me, but something tells me my mind might be playing tricks on me. Ooh, look at that. Slime balls for days. Those might work overnight, too, it looks like. So we're in slime balls, and we haven't found a slime chunk. That's really, I mean, that right there is a coup. That is, that is the bomb. That is the way to go. Whatever sort of lame metaphors you want to use. All right. Um, what else? Lap pack. We're going to need... That in the advanced circuit, so we're gonna need some more copper and cabling. I believe I can do this without the recipe, and we're gonna try it. Even though I know I don't have everything I need in my inventory, we'll go get it. Um, I need, I have the lapis, but I need glowstone. We're definitely gonna have to make a glowstone run, no doubt about that, which I am not looking forward to, but will be much easier with a jetpack and a uh, with a jet pack and a portal gun. Actually, that makes life significantly easier. Except, what you don't want to do is get in there and get get jacked up. People keep talking about, like, claims and stuff in there, messing everybody up. Like, you get bounced in the nether and you just basically insta-death, which is not good. Wacko, what's up? The wax plan. You guys, I'm telling you, if you if you have it all, any interest at all, come hop on here. It's not it's not bad. It's a lot of fun. Let's see. While that's going, let's look at the uh, jetpack. I think we can do the jetpack easy. One more advanced circuit, a bat box, which I had. I would love to have it back. That'd be easy because of the batteries. Anyway, what do we need? Some refiner and glycerin. We got that. We got that. So. There's that. See, this is the kind of thing, I mean, I already should have had a, uh, I already should have had auto crafting for this stuff. It would have made my life so much easier, but auto crafting would be quite a few steps for some of this, but anyway, there we go. Bat box. Ooh, 10. Might not be, might not have enough 10 for that because we need this is, we also got to set up the automation here. Uh, I'll tell you about it real quick. So that we need three. So that is 12. Yeah, we'll get it here in a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to move all of these machines over. And I think I'm actually going to just move these machines entirely. But what I'll do to start with is I'll move this over one. Is that right? Over one or over two? I think I'll move this over one. And we're going to come like this up out of there and pull stuff out of a chest which will well let's see I'll probably move this all the way over here anyway redstone engines chests and pipes <laughs> and some hoppers will allow us to have an automated system where we'll pull out of a chest full of ores into the macerator out of the macerator the dust into the furnace and then out of the furnace into another chest and then we can just dump some ores in one side and go get our ingots on the other side that's that's the goal so we got those. We need the bat box. We've got probably enough now. Let's keep these rolling. See, this is the problem. You gotta just, oops. You gotta always take them out of one and put them in the other. So, 10. We got perfect amount of those. And there's our three batteries. 
And the bat box. Oh, that's what we were doing. Yes, we're good. So, I need the oak, because I can't use this. Remember that? Was it six? I don't know, I never remember. Five. Oh, and I do need one more stinking piece of copper wire. So I gotta make a whole nother batch. Although I don't think you do. Let's let's try this the old fashioned way. I think what you can do, although it doesn't matter, I think you can do this, and then I think you can just go one to one and you get one piece of copper wire. The problem is who cares? <laughs> you don't ever use you don't ever use uh, the uninsulated copper wire. At least I'd never I don't think I ever have. I don't even know what you would use it for. Anyway, that's fur. That's not going to work. That will, though. And there we go. Now, put the oak away and get ourselves a jetpack. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. And I have the glowstone for it, which is just cool. It's actually a cool looking little recipe. I like recipes that kind of are clever and look, look like what they're trying to be. Jetpack. All right, you guys are going to love this. So fill it up. It only fills, I think, 60,000. Is that right? 30,000? Not even 60,000. Which is cool. And what are we waiting on? Our lapis blocks. We got six of them. That's what we needed. So now we can make the lap pack. This holds much more, actually. And that. And that. So now we go straight to a lap pack. And we'll charge that up in a second. Ooh, man, that thing's charging slow. Usually those things go a lot faster, especially in an MFE. Huh. Oh, well. Let's go check on our steel. Once we get our uh, diamond drill, we're going to go mine, and I'll show you this thing. If the problem is on a server like this right now. Man, that's so slow. Five. That's enough. We'll let it keep doing its thing. I'm tempted to put the rest in there, but I'm not going to for now. Because we don't use a ton of steel, but what we do, when we want it, we want it. So let's let's see about the drill, mining drill. We want to actually get to the advanced, which isn't hard to do. We'll probably do that pretty quick. But again, on this server, I'm not sure that it's even going to be worth it because you can't mine that fast. <laughs> it's just it's a matter of how fast you can actually do the mining. And I think on this server with the lag, it's it would you're you'll you'll not be able to ever mine as fast as that advanced drill will, or even the regular one for that matter, but it allow, at least allows you to get obsidian. Let's put those in there. What are we missing? Oh, a, uh, a circuit. I think it's a, just a, is it an advanced or a regular? I think it's a regular circuit. I hate waiting for this thing to cycle. There we go, electronic circuit. So, <clears throat> yet more copper, which we're almost out of. You can see, I mean, you just sit down to make a couple of things, and all of a sudden, you got no resources. <laughs> so we'll get a quarry going <clears throat> very soon, actually. Sorry, I seem to have something in my throat this morning. Rechargeable battery. Did I not do that? I did. Rechargeable battery, that, and some steel. And there's our mining drill. And then three diamonds, which puts us down to six, but that's a good use of our diamonds right there. Trust me, we have used our diamonds well. And there's the diamond drill. So now we can just charge this thing up straight in here. So that's got 30,000. 30, we'll charge that thing up. Let me show you the jetpack while we're... This, this is a game changer too because... So we're never going to need a chest plate again. <laughs> we're always going to have something on there. So check it out. Got that on. Let's see what this looks like in this texture pack. Nice. <laughs> we're like a superhero. Now we can just fly around. We can finally see what's up here on top of our little... Nice. And with the rubber boots, we don't have to worry about falling, but you do have to be a little bit careful. Like there. So now you can see we use just a little bit, not too much, to do that little, little flight. And this thing is all charged up. Now let's charge our lap pack up. That's going to take a little longer. That'll bring this thing way down. These are also very handy if you can get an MFE. Um, if we set up our quarry or whatever mining operations, what's really nice is to use one of these to power. So you can put this in the bottom slot of an MFE and you can put 300,000 power into it. Um, create 
great town name. <laughs> um, anyway, you can put 300,000 EU back into it, and then you can run your quarry without having to have any actual power. Um, we might actually run quarries with steam power, though. This is this is really efficient. It works. It doesn't take that much coal. It puts out two EU. If you had, like, four of those, you'd be have a decent quarry. It wouldn't be full speed, but it might be worth it. Let's go breed our cattle real quick. I'm trying to keep these so they will die every once in a while. Keep in mind that you can't rely on cattle on these servers um, or any of these live animals, but you can keep them for a while. You just got to time it right. You want to make sure you slaughter them before. Like, I'll probably once... Once these babies pop out, I'll probably start slaughtering some things because you wanna you wanna harvest your the 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 point is to use them and if you lose a couple you just have to go back and get you know or if you lose your whole thing you didn't get any of the value out of it then there was no reason to even do it but if you only use a couple or lose a couple you just go find some more cows and there we go I don't think I got any leather out of that I have not been getting any leather out of these cows. Let's go ahead and there we go a little bit. Hopefully this will lose some. Let's see. No, one piece of leather. I just slaughtered four cows. That's just crazy to me. I only have three pieces of leather to my name. But that's why you want to slaughter them. Get the pigs and the cows. Harvest them. You get the actual resources that way. And then if they get killed, you won't feel that bad about it. Like I had, I probably had a dozen cows in there and didn't use a single one. So that was a pain. All right, let's see. Ten's going. Yeah, maybe we'll work on automating this process next. But what we wanted to do is show this. So that's almost full. I usually let it fill up. Again, it will all, all, also use our electric wrench. It has to be on your back, though. So what you'll notice is if I start using this now, um, it, it will it will start to take energy from the drill. Whereas if you have the, the lap pack on your back, it'll take energy from the lap pack. So you still have to have it if you want to on your back if you want to use it but you can you could take it off if you want to fly around and use the drill a little bit and then put it back on to charge the drill back up because once you break a block with the drill the drill will fill back up but not until you break it it's not like just once you hit something with it it's once you break a block so a lot of times you'll notice that the drill's taking longer it's probably out of energy so you got to put it back on your pack and then break a block which will take a while because it doesn't work very efficiently without power and then once you break the block you can it'll be refilled with power so our lap pack's almost ready there we go Got our lap pack and our jet pack and our portal gun. And with those things, we are pretty much set. We should make another run pretty soon, but I'm actually a little scared. I'm going to wait till I have to. I think we can get by. We can get blaze powder out of the industrial centrifuge, so that's not going to be necessary for a while. I'm um, just trying to think of what we would want to do next. Um, I think our, our steel's coming along. Oh, the rock cutter. That's something we definitely want to make. And the reason we want to make that is, all right, so we need three diamonds, two steel, and, okay, I think we got that. So one of these, yeah. nope, we need our ten. So these are all just, I think it's good. This is one of those episodes where you guys just get to see stuff being made. And, and if we've done a job, if you've done your job making the resources to this point, then it won't be a problem. We'll have everything we need, and we should be good. Now I'm out of copper, so this thing needs to make some copper for me. I've been also thinking about overclockers. Let me talk you through that real quick. So putting overclockers in these machines will make them run faster, right? Um, the benefit to that is obviously you don't have to wait as long if you're really p impatient like me, and especially if you're making videos. It's nice to be able to throw something in there and just have it go zip, zip, zip. Um, on the other hand... Every time you throw an overclocker in here, the thing pulls more energy. And we think we've got pretty decent energy right now, right? 300,000 EU, we're not really pulling that much. The machines are just kind of running slow and everything's fine. Well, this is not going to be our final state. We're going to be a lot more industrialized at the end of this situation. We'll have all these machines running. They'll be running with overclockers because we're going to need to make a lot of stuff. And so we'll need more power um, because we're not going to have nearly enough with an overclocker. An overclocker would take, right now, if you had, you can stack up to eight um, in a macerator or update in any machine. Um, I'm pretty sure it's update. I've tried over that, and over that they don't have an effect. But anyway, up to 8, and things will go really fast. But I've had it take 84 EU per tick with 8 um, overclockers in a macerator, and that will just drain your power supply like no business. No business. Like no business. No business at all. So let's do this. 
this will be exactly enough. And I mean, this is just excruciatingly slow. If you guys have seen my um, Crafters LP, which you should go watch, it's fun to see somebody working with, you know, unlimited resources and not having to go through all these hoops that we have to go through on the servers. Um, but I actually have been playing more over here lately just because I want to, I think this is valuable. I hope that you guys are enjoying it. I think it's, I, I would love to see people just say, oh yeah, it'd be great to just hop on a server and play, not feel stressed about it or um, feel like it's overwhelming because it really is overwhelming. Believe me, I get that. Uh, let's do this while we're waiting on that. We're going to need some redstone engines. So this is the first time we've talked about those. Um, we looked at the steam engines. In fact, let's, let's look at it like this. Steam engines, steam engine, if I could spell, is this. And you can see these all kind of look the same, right? They're all part of build, they all produce build craft power. I believe even the hobbyists, these are the steam engines for uh, for the rail stuff. I'm sure, I think they do. Anyway, biogas and peat fire, this all ends up producing rail craft, or uh, build craft power. But, what was that noise? Huh. Anyway. This is like the lowest form of an engine you can get, and it's really simple to make. And we're going to need a couple of these. These are really good for pulling items out of a chest. They'll pull them one at a time every time it pumps. And it pumps really slow at the beginning, and then the longer you leave them on, the faster they pump. And they will pump items out of out of anything and into something else. So you'll use it, uh, a wooden pipe, so wooden transport pipes. Actually, let's look for transport. These pipes here. A wooden transport pipe is easy to make. Glass with wood on the sides. You get eight of them. You can pull stuff out of machines with those. And then with cobblestone and stone, which are also easy to make, you can transport things along and put them into other machines. We'll get into iron, gold, and diamond later. Those are for sorting and other things. So, do we have enough? We do. Kind of forgot what we were making already. We need... I know we were making rubber, though, so... We also got to get a more efficient rubber farm going. You can see that we're already getting a little lax on that. So we need a circuit here. There we go. And we were making the rock cutter. Some steel, which we got, and some diamonds. So we need three diamonds. But this is worth it because this will double whatever diamonds we find, which is, which is very important as far as I'm concerned. So we needed that. We needed the circuit. Where is my steel? Did I put it away? Or am I just out? Oh, I probably need some more. Three? Is that right? Two. We gotta have two down here. Barely. <laughs> we got three. It's really slow. And as far as I know, there's no way to speed that up. That's just... That is what it is. The battery. Did I make the battery? I did. Excellent. So... Yeah, now that we got this lap pack and stuff, we are in business. And we'll make an electric tree tap um, so that we don't have to use the wooden tree tap all the time. And that's just never runs out. Electric hoe, electric tree tap, electric wrench. We got that. I probably won't do the hoe. I don't do that much farming. That one's easy. But we'll do that when we get back. So, where are we at? I think we're good. I think we're set for some mining. So let me get rid of some of this stuff, get my inventory cleared up, and we'll go do some quick mining. All right, guys, amazingly enough, I... Oh, my portal's gone. So that's interesting. Maybe when you sign out on this server, the portal goes away. I was going to show you the portal, using the portal to get back, or, yeah, back where we were, but that's all right. We don't care. We'll throw that up there, and let's run down. So, yeah, I basically accomplished everything I set out to, which is interesting for me <laughs> in one of my videos. I didn't get too derailed, but we got our steel, made our jetpack, lap pack, diamond drill. Uh, what we didn't do was start automation. I actually had that on the list, but we'll do that next time. I just want to show you guys the show you guys the process of of doing this, and then it's also fun for like exploring. Having a jetpack is fun for exploring uh, like caves and and especially um, ravines and stuff like that. You can just kind of fly around and see what's there, see if it's worth your time. So actually, let's instead of going all the way down there, I'll start this. So you can see already how quickly it mines. And the server's actually in good shape. It mines everything. You don't have to switch tools, right? It's just, just use it. That's pretty quick. It's pretty much like a diamond pick. Probably, it seems faster than just a regular diamond pick. I think it's like a diamond pick with efficiency on it of some sort. 
So you can get the idea. So it's it's really fast. That's going to help us a lot. So we get through here quicker, find more ores, and we'll get back up to where we're at in no time. So what I'm going to do is this mining mining mission. Um, and then when we come back next time, I'll have a bunch of ores, and we'll use those to demonstrate and set up our uh, our auto sorting system. So when we use the uh, the redstone engine, which we were talking about before, um, we'll we'll get a couple of these. We'll get a couple of chests, and we'll start the automation. And then we'll talk about things that we can do in the future and what we're going to work on next. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, always appreciate it. Very thankful that you guys are watching. Please tell your friends. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Minecraft OTB. Leave comments, I'll respond to everyone, and I will talk to you next time.